Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your very own city bus for all of your city building needs. If you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And it's also worth mentioning, ladies and gentlemen, that that city bus right there would look great attached to your very own modern bus station. If you haven't built that yet, or if you want to make some other bus related tutorials including two more buses that you can not see on the screen right now a modern bus station that you can see or a bus stop that is coming up in the future check out the card system description below and the top of the comment section for all of those things but without any further ado let's get started now just before we start building everybody here are all of the materials that we will need to make our city bus please do make sure that you have access to all of those materials and enough of them as well. For those of you that are curious, the bus requires a 4 by 9 block area as represented by this white rectangular grid on the ground. Do feel free to make this grid in your world if you do feel as though it might help you out. And that's it. Pause the video if you have to. Do make sure that you got all that stuff. Make sure you got enough room to make it. Make sure you're ready. Maybe even make sure that you've got a really cool bus station to make this build with too. And once you are ready, we can begin. Step 1 bus builders, come all the way over to the front left hand corner of your grid, if you've made it. What's tricky is that on top of this block where we want to begin, we need to place a floating quartz slab. It just wants to be half a row off the ground like that. And next to that, extending towards the back of the bus, we want to place a grey concrete, nine more quartz slabs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, an additional grey concrete, and then another quartz slab. Extend the quartz slab across by three. One, two, three. And then replicate that row there onto this side of the bus. So we'll place ourselves a grey concrete. Nine quartz slabs. We don't have to count them out as we already have that row opposite us anyway. And then we can place a grey concrete, a quartz slab on the end, and then we can join it together like this and you can fill the bottom of your bus in using some quartz slabs like so. And that is perfect. Now, we specifically want to start on the exact same quartz slab where we started the build. So we want to be directly above the starting position and we want to place a light blue concrete on top of the corner, front right hand corner of the bus. The reason for that is because we then want to extend that light blue concrete backwards by one, two. We then want to leave a gap of two. And then we can actually continue to place light blue concrete all the way around the other edges of the bus. So everywhere else around except for specifically those two blocks right there, we can place ourselves some light blue concrete. And we want to place black concrete on the left and right sides of where the blue concrete kind of like uh, disconnects from itself. We want to place one, two black concrete, one, two black concrete. We then want to, moving towards the back of the bus, leave a gap of two and place one, two black concrete and leave a gap of two and one, two black concrete. We can then place light blue concrete behind the black on this side like this. And we can replicate this onto the opposite side. So we can place two light blue concrete on the back corner. And then black concrete segmented two rows away from each other. Coming towards the front of the bus in the same manner that we did just on the other side. Perfect. You then want to place quartz slabs on top of all of the black concrete. Extending around the top of the bus like this. You're pretty much... You, what you want to do is you want to copy the layer of block of quartz or layer of quartz slabs rather that we have kind of like at the bottom of the frame. You want to apply the same thing up top and you want to fill the top of your bus in using quartz slabs exactly like this. So we kind of want to have the exact same thing just up above except there's no wheels on the top. And we want to fill in between all of the black concretes. We want to fill it all in using some black glass. So this is going to be black glass pane. This is going to be windows. And we're going to apply it all the way around our bus. So I reckon I'm going to do it to the bottom part of the bus first. 
and then I'll apply it all to the top of the bus. So the same goes for the front window, the same goes for the back window, all the way around. The only pot that we don't yet want to place glass yet, we don't want to place it where I've just about placed it there. <laughs> so everywhere else but the entrance. However, now that we've come to the entrance, we're going to imagine that this bus has one of those like sliding glass doors. If you guys have ever used a bus before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's one of those glass doors that kind of like breaks into and opens. So to represent that, we're going to place glass on the right side of this and also at the top, but you could just fill this half in. So if you wanted to be able to get on the bus, then you leave this little gap. But if you're not bothered about getting on the bus, then you can have it closed. So you guys get the idea, but leave it open anyway, just so that people can explore. What else are we going to do? Well, we have to put buttons on the wheels because that looks just better. It makes it look as though that we actually have, um, you know, functioning wheels. It, it just, it's a nice little detail. In addition to this, we want to place ladders where the grill of the bus would be on the front. We also want to add item frames left and right of the ladders, and we want to place a block of quartz inside of the item frames. As we swing round to the back of the bus, we're also going to place item frames, except this time we're going to stack them on top of each other in the corners. And I can't promise that we won't need any of these materials again that we've just chucked away, but we're going to grab red concrete, signs, quartz stairs, lever, light grey carpet, trip wire hook, end rod, and some paintings. So, in these item frames, we're placing red concretes. In, fr in, in front of the quartz slabs, below and in between them, we're going to place kind of like a little license plate so that we can identify each bus. And we're going to do the same on the front when it comes to these signs. If you wanted to, as most buses do have a an identification as to where the bus is going, you could even kind of like add the same thing at the top if you want. But I kind of think it ruins the aesthetic of the bus, to be quite honest. I think that the bus is really nice and simple. I, I really like how it looks like that. Now we're going to head inside of the bus. So inside the bus, we need to have a driver's seat. This driver's seat is a little bit, uh, a little bit weird in the fact that it's actually going to be crammed right up against the front left-hand corner of the bus like this, right? And we're going to have a lever next to it. So, you know, that, that can be what you kind of like imagine it to be. It could either be like a, a way to drive the bus or a way to open or close the bus. I did promise, uh, I didn't promise that we wouldn't need some materials again, so we're actually going to need the light blue concrete and the black stained glass paint again. Behind the seat, we're going to have ourselves a light blue concrete, and we're going to kind of like segment the driver and uh, the rest of the passengers. So the driver sits here, and the rest, all, all the passengers are all back here. And we're going to have a two row gap behind the driver's seat. This is going to be uh, light grey carpet, so perhaps this is like standing space, or perhaps people that are lesser abled are able to kind of like you know stand there and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to place a quartz stairs gap quartz stairs gap quartz stairs double quartz stairs at the back of the bus kind of like that and we're going to place uh, tripwire hooks next to every single one of the stairs you'll even be able to place it at the back kind of like that and that can be to uh, indicate to the bus driver perhaps that the bus has to stop and what else can we have? Well, we can have some... I want paintings, um, because often on buses you'll have, like, advertisements. Mostly advertisements, really. And I think paintings can do quite a good job of representing that. But you're going to have to be careful. Um, the, the positions that I'm going to place these, I want to have one-by-one one paintings on the opposite sides of the seats. And I'd prefer not to overlap the paintings, meaning I don't want duplicates. Uh, yeah, that, that's perfect. Any any painting will do, really, as long as it's, um, you know, as long as they're all different. And what I'm also going to choose to have, um, it doesn't make sense to put them, uh, to put in the back, I think, but if you put a couple of end rods kind of, like, spanning the width of the bus in between the two, like, middle seats, the two middle parts of the bus, uh, I like the idea that it's kind of like, um, I think this is quite inventive, well done me. I, uh, I, I hope that you guys agree because I was kind of happy with myself when I thought about this. You know when you stand on a bus and like if you've got to stand like there's usually things above your head that you can kind of grab onto? Uh, I reckon that the end rods actually uh, work quite well as that. I think it, it, I think it looks quite realistic and uh, once you've done that ladies and gentlemen you've kind of actually uh, done your bus. So this is what your city bus should look like once it has been 100% fully completed ladies and gentlemen. Do feel free to make it a different colour if you like. You can have all sorts of 
different colours of buses. And do of course feel free to alter it in any way that you like. If you feel as though that perhaps you want some more seats in here or uh, you don't like the end rods or you don't like the advertisements in the form of paintings or maybe you think the driver <laughs> deserves a bit more room, then feel free to add that if you like. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please do remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. If you do want to make any other builds by me, including my bus station, the inside the bus station, or perhaps any of the other buses and bus related builds that I'm making, or all of the other city builds that I'm making, check out the card system, description below the top of the comment section. I'll leave loads and loads of stuff linked there for you. I'm sure that you guys will love it there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!